بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Just wanna point out some lessons from this video. And yes, it is about the animal kingdom. And some critics will say, "Oh, brother Jibril with his alpha man stuff. This is connected to kufr. You know, this is dealing with evolution, and this is not appropriate in Islam. Has no position or deen." The Prophet ﷺ in Sahih Muslim and Sunnah of Abu Dawood and other book compilations, we have a hadith with regards to animals, the kind treatment of animals, and also the lessons that we draw from animals in the Quran as well. So people need to be careful before they jump to conclusions. So can we learn from animals? Can we learn from some of these videos? You want to make a comparison or you want to just highlight certain things that can give you a lesson from these things? Yes, indeed, this is an Islamic principle. Inna fi dhalika la ibra. And indeed, in these things, there are lessons. So let us watch the video. This is a lion being attacked by a group of hyenas. You're talking about, I think I can count about eight on one. Let's see. One thing that I want you to notice, the lion didn't go on its back. Look how it's fighting. I mean, you're attacked by eight hyenas. Every single one of us has hyenas in their lives. Bills, enemies, negative or toxic managers, bosses, relationships, you name it. Everyone's got something. Even your own nafs and your desires could amount to 8, 9, 10, 15, 20 hyenas that are continuously surrounding you and biting at you. But the question is, are you uh, giving up? That is the question that you need to ask yourself. Are you able to bite back? Are you going to lay on your back and just sur surrender? Or are you going to fight so there's no more breath in you. Things don't work your way. People say things don't always work your way. Well, most of the times they don't work your way. And we see this throughout our lives. People get depressed. People get sad. We see the examples of our prophets. You know, we need to con connect to the stories of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, tells in Surah Yusuf that he tells us, he gives us the story, Ahsan al Qasas, the best of stories, and the story of Surah Yusuf and what he's gone through, betrayal, fitna, incarceration, you name it. But I guess a lot of people don't connect, are not able to connect to these stories. Duriba uh, Mathal, like it's been a, an example is 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 showed to you okay so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya yeah, nas oh mankind an example is given to you so be careful listen to it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us so many stories so many examples in life so that we can learn brothers and sisters what's the Quran for just to accentuate it properly to make maharaj of huruf and tajweed and so on and so forth. Yes, it's important, it's part of our ibadah. But is that it? Because it seems that in our current society, we are somehow perfecting these Quran recitation, Quran recitation contests and videos and as Sheikh Uthman Farooq said, like singing. Astaghfirullah. But are we connecting to the Quran? Are we learning? So there's so many stories that show us the struggle and the fight of the NBA, of the Rusul, and just of the normal people. So, because you never know, you gotta fight back, because you never know when backup comes. You never know when the help of Allah comes. Mata Nasrullah, Allah inna Nasrullahi qarib. When is the help of Allah? Indeed, it may be that the help of Allah is very, very close.
So, don't give up. Don't give up. You might look like you're alone. You're surrounded. You cannot see anyone. But look at it, the fierce face of that lion spawn fighting. People give up too fast. We live in a society and a culture where we give up too fast. Smallest challenge. Actually, we don't even call it challenge. Well, it is a challenge. We think it's just a, an end while it's just an obstacle. And if that obstacle can be interpreted as a lesson, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us through the Quran, we will test you. We will test you. We will test you. The obstacles will be there. Problem is you're interpreting them as ends. Dead ends. All you have to do is just jump over it. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of energy. Go around it. It's going to take some time. Dig under it. I don't go through it. Whatever it is. Don't stop because you don't know when the help of Allah is near. Reinforcements will come and you'll be walking straight again, standing up tall again, pushing back, inshallah. Bismillah.